don't even know what day it is. Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is on the V Park kit. <laughs> Alright guys, so today I'm reviewing the V-Park 30 watt kit. It's a super cute little kit. Now originally, I was going to review the 150 watt, which is this size box, and it is pretty large for a box mod, but I noticed that they sent me the 150, the 50, and the 30 watt, and I'm giving away the 50 watt in yesterday's video, and I'll be announcing the winner on Sunday for that, as well as an e-liquid giveaway, like a whole combo. See, I'm giving away this one, and this is the 50 watt TC kit, this is the 30 watt kit, and this is the 150 watt. So originally I was going to do the 150 watt, but I looked at this and noticed, because I thought it was 250 watts and then 150 watts, so I was like, okay, I'll review the 150 watt, give away the 50 watts, but this is a 30 watt and it's so stinking cute and it's just perfect for somebody like me, so I decided that I'm going to make the review video for the 30 watt, and then I'll just, I'll tell you about the 150 watt as well as the 50 watt, but I'm giving the 50 watt away so I won't actually have a review video for it. And if you actually want me to make a separate review video for the 150 watt TC, let me know down in the comments below and I can totally do that. But today we are looking at this and okay, so freaking cute. So let's just start by opening them. So this is the V Park box, which is the 30 watt. And this is the Max Tank Mini. I also have the Max Tank Pro. That's the larger size one that goes with the 150 watt and I believe the 50 watt. Let me check. And it, yeah, and it goes with the 50 watt as well. But the mini version comes with this one, so I'll go ahead and show you guys this mini version. Now this small version of the Max Tank is so cute. And this is red, this is a red kit, so it all matches. And this 30 watt kit is $60, the 50 watt one is 65, I believe, and the 150 watt is 80, I believe. Here is the Max Tank Mini. Looks like it comes with two different drip tips, a stainless steel, silver one and a red one which I'll be putting on as well as an extra coil go ahead and pop that out and show you guys Woo. nice catch to you <laughs> so really quickly this max tank mini has a 18 millimeter base diameter it's a 510 threaded device it has airflow control at the top and the bottom it looks like oh no maybe that's just grip it does have drip tip airflow ability it is also 61 millimeters from top of the tip to the base it is a 0.5 resistance in here and it holds 1.5 milliliters of e-liquid so here's a close-up of the tank looks really really nice V Park. I am going to switch it out for the red drip tip because matchy matchy. The red drip tip does not have airflow adjustability whereas, oh shit, the stainless steel one does. But here it is and here is the coil. This is the extra one that came with the kit. This extra one is also a nichrome coil. Real quickly I'm going to check the coil that's installed to see what it is. This is also a nichrome 0.5 coil. So here is the box that the 30 watt little box comes in. Oh, it's so cute. So you have the little thing I'll show you in a second, but in here you also have the USB charging cable as well as a user's manual. <laughs> Look at it. And this is like the smallest little box mod besides like my Eleve iStick Mini. Oh, actually let's see the size comparison. Oh, so cute. Here is a close-up. It has an on-off switch right here, an LLED screen, a fire button, and this is your regulatory buttons. This is the plus and minus, and it's a spinning wheel. Well, it doesn't spin. It just kind of flicks, and that's how you change the wattage. Oh, you can see. There. We'll hold down. Here is the 510 connection. Here is the bottom. This is where you would charge it. Little venting right here. V Park logo. V Park logo, V Park box 30, 1000 milliamp hour. So this kit is available in a couple different colors. 
white, black, red, Tiffany blue. It's a matte black and glossy black. There's two different black colors. So this little guy is 22 millimeters by 41 millimeters by 55 millimeters. As I said before, it is a 1000 milliamp hour little internal battery in here. It goes from 5 to 30 watts. It can vape down to 0.3 and up to 2 ohm. The 510 connection is spring loaded with insulation for better connection. So it has a built in 18350 battery with a 1000 milliamp hour and 14 amp output current. It does charge through a micro USB and it takes 50 minutes to fully charge. It has a few protection features on it as well. It has output, short circuit protection, overheat protection, and reverse battery protection. This is how they describe their colors. Pearl black, black, Ferrari red, Tiffany blue, and white. So here it is all set up. Isn't it so stinking cute? Here is the full setup. So little look, not even longer than my hand. Totally like concealable pretty much. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. I mean, compared to its big brother, the 150 watt. Holy cow. So you can change it by 0.1 increments or hold it down to have it toggle through fast. So I'll put this all the way up to 30. So it's all the way up to 30. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this little tank and we will vape it. It's so, I love it. It's so stinking cute. So I'm gonna fill it up with some strawberry cheesecake by Poconos Vapes. I just thought this fit since it's like a bright red bottle in a bright red kit. And I didn't realize it before, but these grips right here are because it is a top fill. Little tank. Check it out. This unscrews and you fill it through the top. So that's definitely a plus to have it be a top fill little, little guy right here. Oh, he's so cute. All right, it's all filled up. I'm going to go ahead and let it wick up for a few minutes. Come back and show you guys how it vapes. Isn't it so adorable? I would have loved the white or Tiffany blue color, but this is nice. I don't have any bright Ferrari red mods. Or do I? And some other features about the Max Tank Mini that comes with the V Park 30 box kit is it has a no screw coil, so it's not a threaded coil. It's a threadless design for no need to like position alignment, so you don't like accidentally have the coil screwed on wrong. It just pops in there. I don't think I've ever seen that. I find that really neat. Needless to say, this tank is Pyrex glass and 303 stainless steel. It has a vertical coil design in the coil and organic cotton. I just can't get over it. It's so little and so cute. Perfect for an on-the-go vape. So along with all those um, protection features it has, if something were to go wrong, it reads on the screen ER1, ER2 for Air1, Air2, Air3, and you can look in the user's manual to see what the problem is. For example, it'll read air one if something's wrong with the atomizer if it's not making good connection with the atomizer it also just displays the battery life even if you just press the fire button like really quickly it'll display the display the battery life you don't have to actually adjust the wattage to see that as I had first thought and it does count your puffs count your puff like seconds of your puff so let's try it out it's so cute how am I gonna hold it probably like this mm, I love that flavor oh I have the drip tip Oh, I don't have the drip tip airflow on because this does not have drip tip airflow. I meant the base airflow wide open for this little sucker. Ooh, clouds, bitch, from this little thing. See, this is a super tiny mod, and I know that the E-Leaf Mini over here is a little bit smaller, but it only goes to 10 watts, and it does not sub-ohm. This is the smallest box mod that goes to 30 watts and also supports sub-ohm atomizers. It's so flippin' cute. Holy crap. From this little guy. I wonder how long the battery would last me though since this only is a thousand milliamp hour battery. I'm getting perfect airflow like the way I like it with the airflow wide open. I'm getting a nice thick vape from it with also getting enough oxygen to the vape that I personally like. I feel like maybe if I had the drip tip airflow on it might be a little too airy personally for me, but let's try it out. So we'll go ahead and try out the drip tip airflow. That doesn't look too shabby either. Kind of matches because the insides of here are silver. See, there's a significant difference with the drip tip airflow and it's just a little too airy for me. I feel like when tanks are too airy and that's only because of the drip tip airflow, I feel like I have to suck 
longer to get the vape that I want and then I'm kind of feeling out of breath like I had to vape too long so I I prefer the not drip tip airflow or to just have this one with the air the airflow off but I like this red on red look so Ooh, that Pocono strawberry cheesecake is so freaking good getting a really nice taste from these coils. I'm wondering how long it would last and I'm actually really wanting to do a one month update for this. So if you guys wanna see me do a one month update for this, comment below and let me know if I get enough requests. I will definitely make that happen. If you wanna see me review the 150 watt mod, let me know and I will make that happen. I can't review the 50 watt only because I'm actually giving that one away right now. So I have the 30 watt and the 150. If you wanna see the 150 in action with the Max Tank Pro, which is just a larger size of this one let me know and I can make that video but I don't know if I'll do it if I don't get enough requests just because it's basically the same thing only in a bigger version with um, TC capability uh, this one does not have TC capability as far as I know I didn't see any information about that <sighs> powerful little sucker I love it I'm in love honestly I think I might just have to buy the white and Tiffany blue one for myself because I like having variety in colors. Like I always say, I like having different colored shoes, you know, different styles. You can't just have one vape. It's, it's impossible. It's an addiction. It is all on its own. But if you're vaping, then you're not smoking and that's the whole point. So this is super cute. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Let me know if you've tried this before, what your experience was with it. I'm absolutely loving it for my first look review. And that's it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I upload videos that aren't vaping related. So if you want to see more of me that isn't vaping related, you can check out that channel all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia vapes and thank you so much for watching guys oh my god i love this thing it freaking blows huge clouds and it's so little i love it oh i think i might found a new obsession still love my knee box though but like this is so cute